hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing well before we go into the video i have my friend here with me it is a very first collaboration we are doing together my first collaboration as well she is latifa i'll give you guys time to know her very well but let me first of all tell you a little bit about this transformation <laughs> i am feeling myself and i hope you guys are feeling it too mm. some of you will be like carrying favor is that you yes this is me this is your kelly roland this is your stephanie or kerry k yes i go with yourself guys let me know what you think about my makeup my friend transformed <laughs> me and my child has been crying jason like, like oh, jason is jason. like no 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 this is not the woman i know this child has been crying we have struggled to put him to sleep, no, so I just had to carry him, I've given him breast milk like so many times, mm -hmm. he won't stop, but now he's better, we can now film this video. My friend had to tell me, Karen, take off that wig, I did, this child was still crying, my friend now said, go and wash your face, <laughs> I said no, I'm not washing this face because I want <laughs> my subscribers to see my new look, so guys, this video is for you people. This makeup, this layer, this face beat. Guys, mm -hmm. you have to watch this video till the end. So, let me give you guys time for Latifa <laughs> to introduce herself. <laughs> Hi yes. guys. Um, it's good to speak with you guys today. And I really appreciate being on this collaboration. I'm Latifa. On my YouTube channel, I use I am a Bikanis. Um, so today we'll be having a collaboration on the Black Girl Star. Few funny, crazy questions yes, people ask black girls. Yeah. Don't say this one, she's white though. I'm not white. <laughs> I'm a black girl. I'm Wait. from Nigeria. Lagos to be precise. Bear with us. We have to be very loud because I have to laugh. If I want to laugh, I'll laugh. And Latifa laughs. <laughs> It's all fun. So you guys, have your cup of tea, a glass of wine, whatever you want to snack with while watching this video. We want to answer some black girl tag questions. Yeah. That's a question. So, you guys, mm -hmm. enjoy our beautiful faces. So the very first thing, or the very first question, I'm going to ask or answer, sorry, is what is your hair type? Mm. X as in what? 1, B, 4, C. What I like, um, I don't like blonde. I do mostly no. a natural color hair. I'm cutting you short, darling. Okay. Your hair, like the hair texture, I think that's the question. Correct me. Like what is your hair type? The, your hair texture, is it? Maybe soft, curly, very strong. Ah, African. Like uh, my hair is. I have a strong. Uh, my hair is very, very strong, and it's one B. Okay, I think I have four C, but I think four C has different, different levels. There is Kuchamanga, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I have four C, but if I apply anything to it, it behaves. So I have four C hair. What? The second question, how do you feel about interracial couples? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That question, I don't have plan for it. And that one, please. Okay, for me, <laughs> it's their choice. I don't know how I feel about it. That is their choice. So, nothing to say about that. So, is there anything about your futures that are considered more masculine because of your complexion? Yes, I have a broad shoulder. Yeah, you are this slim, and you think you have broad shoulder? Yeah, have a, yeah, I have a broad shoulder. And Guys, me let me know masculine. in the comment section. Yeah, really. Okay, I have a broad shoulder. It makes me look masculine. It's not showing my shape. It's not showing your number. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, really? for me, mm, I have two futures. Even if somebody doesn't tell me that, me myself, I know, and if I have to change it, but I cannot change it, so it's not like I don't like it, I like it. But this is because we are answering some questions. <laughs> you see this hand? 
<laughs> this looks small like my this hands. Looks man, yeah. My hands are really big. Like yeah. if I but you're sl- big. If I should slap, I know I'm big, but trust me, before I had kids, it was not like this. So really? I've really grown in every part of my body. Like yeah. everywhere it has really grown times too. You see these hands? But I make sure really you start having like, kids. Your yeah, hand is always like this. Usually. Your hand is big. It's big, yeah, but trust me, they are bigger. Ah, yeah. Okay. She knows bigger. best. And my legs too, eh, girl. For a girl to be wearing 42, I'm, oh, I'm not finding it funny. Your so foot is those two. Yeah. So let's go to the next question. Mm. Did you have support from anyone while you were transitioning? So now, if I should understand this question, it's like transitioning maybe from your teenage to yeah. Yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, I understand. So... Um, actually, when and if we should break it down, me, I don't know if it's financial support or uh, like transition advice in, yeah, or whatsoever. I understand. Um, the thing is, few people who know me would have gone through my channel, and I've always liked to talk about myself. When I was growing, I feel underrated. I see myself as if I'm not up to standard. And my mom is always like, "Do what you know how to do best. It's good for you." My dad would say, what do you need? Are you bored? Are you this? Are you that? My sister do the same thing. Um, financially, I'm fine. Morally, I'm fine. But in me, I feel so relaxed and it wasn't going well for me. But when I got to secondary school, it was, it was really fine. I made use of all my mom would always say, be you and always be you. You're going to survive it. And it was good for me. For me, I don't have much. I've no. always been, I don't know. I've always had support from my mom. Wow. So yeah, yeah. I don't really I know. I noticed she call every day. <laughs> yeah, I've had support and everything from my mom. So my transitioning, I cannot really relate it to any other person. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. Okay. My mom is my yeah. Bad I, I, so. I can I can buttress your point and, because I know she call you every day. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. So the next question, what, what is the highest and lowest amount you paid for braids or a weave? If I'm allowed on this channel, I would love to bring out my wig. I'm wearing a wig and my hair is so short. It's not that I don't like to pay for weavings or braids, but I have this problem with my scalp. I cry when I make my hair. So I don't think I've, for once, sit down, relaxed to make braids. To I'm sorry, braids. so that question wasn't for me. Wasn't Maybe when I was growing up, my sister did for me. Mm. But when I was the woman like I you became, can pay for yourself, mm, you can. not for me. No, okay, I if I should say something about this, the highest I'll say has been 50 euros. That's in Germany. Not even in Korea, I paid like that. But And trust me, I felt... The pain, pain that money. Like I was asking myself in Cameroon, I pay a thousand five hundred francs or two thousand for braiding, okay. and then I'll come and pay fifty euros for braids. So I felt the huge difference. And then the lowest, anyway, same thing. Lowest was two thousand francs, as in CFA, my country. And then in Europe, lowest like twenty thirty dollars, twenty thirty euros. But that is if somebody is doing it for you, friendship price, like your sister okay. or stuff. Yeah, but the normal price is usually from 50, 70, okay. and 80 euros. So that's it. And I don't find it funny to pay 50 euros and above for braids. And for weaves, 20 euros is fine. For me, I cannot complain. So. Do they have your foundation shade at your local drugstore? No, they don't. Mm, I'm not so much into makeup, so I've not tested varieties. But you won't even see because here in Germany. What, what, what about Maybelline? Maybelline, not, yeah, don't Mayb- they have here fit in me, Ge- fit me. Maybelline fit me. I find my color, mm-hmm. but in my local, yeah. 
in stores i don't get them in dm in dm i don't, don't have i don't get my color by maybelline uh, they have the lighter shades they, but they if, have brought some if and I'll, mix too probably if i'll buy from if i'll use maybelline i should be using the if maybelline fit me oh, i use no maybelline fit me i use the 235 mm -hmm. sorry 325 3, 325 that's where i use and i still need a darker shade to mix it up uh, to I get my color. okay now if we are, if we want to understand it better like if you should buy just one foundation which I is won't your get shade, my shade it scares for that skin yeah, yeah that's true but you know I always go with something with something that's for me I think this is my shade but she is a makeup artist and she can best explain that so do you ever hear the phrase is that your real hair if so when hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes um fast back to three years I was in I was here in Germany by this my country Nigeria and I was using uh, a front of this week and a friend said wow is this your air <laughs> See, eh? and my... sometimes sorry let me cut you short sometimes eh, some questions can be very very <laughs> annoying especially with your classmates the opposite yeah. like the white friends mm -hmm. if I have 10 styles in a week they will ask me 10 times if this is my hair yeah and trust me sometimes i get mad and i'll say yes because i don't i don't I know why you got, no i was getting mad so i had to start answering yes like all time okay yes i, I, have, a times, neighbor, say, I have a neighbor i have a neighbor she's my friend sometimes when she sees me she look at me as if i'm not the one then i would have to say <laughs> hi hi, hi it's me it's me look at me it's me <laughs> See, and she would have to say, is this you? Is this you? I said, yes, it's me. It's <laughs> like, Peru. It's how can me. I go to school with it's my me. very low hair? Yeah, and then the understand. following week, I come with braids. And then mm. you ask me if that's my hair. Like, but, 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 did I, how did I grow it for a week? But, but, but here hair? in Germany, they advise, even when, for example, when you, when you look for a job, they tell you, you should try and maintain the hair you're using in your passport photograph. Yeah. They tell you so if you know you're using a blonde hair today then you have to maintain the blonde hair and i say to them why will i have to maintain a blonde hair when i have so many, <laughs> weeks, have to so many weeks to wear so the questions are um, uh, so many things are left Hilarious. unsaid mm. so the next funny. question do you typically have a good or bad time at the hairdresser and why i don't go to salons <laughs> me i was going uh I can say the bad times I've had is when the place is dirty. Like you go to some salons, you cannot breathe. Somebody's braiding your hair. Either you know the the bunku that's coming out from her mouth is you know communication cannot flow okay. and stuff like that. And then when on my own partner, when my hair is painting, it, I'm not finding it funny. Right. Like when you are braiding me and my scalp is like. I ask myself, Jesus. That's I don't go. I don't. Make, that's I don't, I don't make want my hair because I don't. I don't want to cry. The, yeah, something like that. Yeah. So that's just it. How many combs or brushes have you broken? Like seriously? I don't know. Countless. <laughs> and you? I, I don't know. <laughs> what is something you like to do when you are excited? Ooh. For example, let me say, I got an alert. Hey. <laughs> Then I'll start dancing like, like you don't get it. I'll start dancing. Then I'll start doing everything around. Everything around me becomes so lovely. Mm -hmm. But when I'm excited, I love to have sex. Yeah. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> Girl, let I did not hear. No mind. <laughs> I did not hear. But I mean it. I mean really. I, I did really. Not hear. I mean it. I, I did not hear. What's I mean that it. thing I like to do? Don't lie, don't lie. No, I don't want to lie. That's why. Because I have many, so I want to talk about. Don't lie. I, don't, I have many. Okay. Yeah. But don't lie. I like to cook. When you're excited. Yes. You go. Like something nice, you know, to complete the happiness. Like, okay. or just go to my kitchen, you know, that's be my chicken. Some people call me Karin Chicken <laughs> because they know I like chicken. chicken that's my best. Yeah. yeah. So I like to cook something nice when I'm happy to complete, you know, I'm a foodie, nice one. So the next question, would you like to have a dog? 
So I have a, a dog. Dog. Yo. Yes, I love dogs. But um, I wouldn't like to have one. Because I'm a Muslim and um, by us, Muslim is forbidden. Mm, really? So I have a dog as pet. Yeah. Mm, I'm knowing that now. But I love dogs. I like it. The pet ones, not the. <gasps> Guys, I would never love to have a dog. If you are somebody who loves